Hi everybody, this is Jamie from C4 Depot and Kyle has just improved Infinite Canyons and added some features and I would like to go over some of those features with you. Uh, one of the most important updates in Infinite Canyons is the reduced flickering feature that has been added. Now this is a scene file that was sent in by a customer and um, if you play this you'll notice where you have peaks and that are in front of some dark areas you get some flickering where the uh, displacement is pretty extreme and that looks really actually pretty annoying I think and you can see a little bit of flickering going on over here so Kyle has gone back and made some improvements to Infinite Canyons and if you're just starting a new scene it's no big deal just open up a new scene and you can start working as soon as you have you've installed the new Infinite Canyons update but if you've got an old scene and you'd like to re-render some frames or if you're halfway in the middle of a project and you want to take advantage of the new Infinite Canyons it's not sufficient to just delete the old library file and install the new one you have to take a couple extra steps so essentially can, what you really just want to do is you want to install or add the new Infinite Canyons into your scene and link the old camera up to the new one basically that's that's what you're doing you can do this another way you can just open up a new scene file and I'm gonna just do that for simplicity's sake I think it's a little bit easier to, to follow you don't have to open up a new scene but I'm just gonna do that in this case so uh, open up a new scene and this is your new Infinite Canyons update just double click on it and what you're going to want to do is go into the original scene file, which is this one right here, and you're going to want to copy this infinite camera. So I'm going to copy that and go into my new scene, and I'm going to paste this old camera into the new scene. Now, what we need to do is let this new infinite canyons camera, the infinite camera, know the position, scale, and rotation of the old one. So the best way to do that is to add a character tag, uh, which is a constraint, and then go down to PSR and click that on. And the target will be the old camera. So drag that in. And now your new Infinite Canyon camera will be doing exactly what the old one was doing. There's a couple other things here. The um, original scene file had Daydream from Real Sky Studio, so uh, you want to copy that and go into your new scene file. Paste that in. You're almost done. There's only one last thing that you need to do. Go into the new camera and you're going to have to load in all of the original presets from the original scene. And I personally think that the easiest way to do this is just to copy um, or make a screenshot of the uh, original parameters and just slide your window over here so that you can see them. And you're just going to want to copy these values. Um, there you go. From the old original scene file and just copy and paste these parameters in. I mean, you can't paste them, but you can just type them in, or you could copy them and paste them if you wanted to. Um, whatever you like better. But once you've done all of these values, you're done, and you can start rendering your frames again, and you'll be taking advantage of these new updates. And uh, you'll notice in, in the new Infinite Canyons, there's this whole new area called Distant Flicker Reduction, and you can play with these values and there's a little readme file in here that uh, we'll talk about that and you can adjust the blur gradient in the distance and I think you're gonna find that the uh, quality of your renders in this new update of Infinite Canyons is, are, are really gonna be worthwhile and I think you're really gonna like them so if you've purchased Infinite Canyons uh, be sure to take advantage of this update um, probably the best way to do that um, would be to just uh, send us an email and uh, support at c4depot.com and uh, it's always a good idea to make sure that you send your 
original email that you purchased the Infinite Canyons with or a copy of your PayPal transaction so that we have a way of looking you up. At any rate, uh, thanks for watching this little uh, uh, update tutorial and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.